adding on some movie snacks. Ooh, I like these. Oops. I doubt they're gluten free. It's gonna, gonna be, be a, a good night. Tonight's gonna be a good night. Cause we're going to, to the, the movies. movies. <laughs> we eat snacks and eat it up. Oh. The at the Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. We're going to a movie tonight. We have not gone to a movie theater in so long. In the time that we've dated, we've probably, or been together, we're engaged now, <laughs> but in the time, even since we started dating, we have probably only been, what have we been to, two movies, Jay? Yes. Like literally ever. We never go to movies and for some reason, since it's just like, I, I, okay, well, the thing is though, is like, I typically would rather just stay at home and watch something, but it's gloomy out, it's rainy, it sounds fun. You know? Yeah. And then we're like, why do we have to wait until the weekend to go do fun things like this? So it's a Thursday night, no, it's Wednesday night, and we're gonna go to a movie theater tonight and see, oh gosh, I don't even remember what the movie's called. What Happens Now, I think is what it's called. It looks like a cute movie. So we are gonna head there. I think it's an eight o'clock movie. I'm gonna put away some laundry back here, have a little dinner, and then we're gonna go see the movie. And I'm definitely gonna be dressed in comfy. I don't know if I'm gonna wear this, but definitely gonna be in some comfy clothes because it's rainy, gloomy, and also it's nighttime. So I'm obviously not gonna be all cute for date night tonight. It's gonna be, a, oh, and we got some snacks. So we went to Publix before this, grabbed a couple snacks, and we'll bring those in too. <laughs> All right, I'm showered, I'm cozy, comfy, ready to go see the movie. Here's the, here's the movie theater set. <laughs> These are sweet. We're back from the movies. What do we what do we think about the movies, Jay? Movies were fire. Really fun thing to do. The movie was <laughs> pretty uneventful. So... No, that was fun though to do a little date night on a weekday. That was the most uneventful movie ever. <laughs> I kept thinking like, when is the plot gonna start? Like, when is there gonna be a turn of events? So. It was like a 39% rating or something like that with the tomatoes. I don't know if people still do that. I think that used to be like a good way to tell if a movie's good. It was pretty uneventful, but it had a good, it had potential with the plot, you know? Yeah, so I can tell you guys this whole thing within two minutes. Yeah. It's this old couple. They see each other in an airport and old memories come back and they end up falling in love all over again. Getting stuck in the airport because they had, like their connecting flight. And they never left the airport. The entire movie was in the airport. Literally the entire movie. But great experience. So, um, that was Jay's first time having the like layback seats. Right? Lay back, well like that, the electric all the way. Yeah. So it's a comfy, cozy little movie yeah, night. Babe, I've done things in life before. What do you mean? It's the first time of... That's Jay's first time at the movie theater. Really? She makes it seem like I've like never done it. <laughs> Jay's actually never been to a movie theater before. Jay's first time at the movie theater. And that was a great movie. No, but that was fun. Now we're having our magnesium and we're going to bed. We have this watermelon magnesium. Oh, I've been seeing that the unflavored magnesium is good in tea. We could try that. No, I'm good with this one. Jay likes the watermelon. Okay, night guys. Night guys. Good morning guys. It is Thursday morning. Headed out to go on a little walk with Jay right now. I've got my, my Kauai shirt on. I'm gonna go back to Hawaii. I already miss it. And then I have my 437 fit on and stop like, you know when all the little like insert things get so messed up? 
that's what this one does every single time I wash it. So it feels kind of weird. But, and then I have my Nike sneaks on. Jay's out there waiting on me. So let's go do it. I love that it's kind of like chillier in the mornings when we go on walks because it's kind of bundled up in a sweatshirt. I'm ready for some colder weather. If I haven't said that 500 times already. <laughs> okay, it's about noon right now. So a little update. It's also so rainy and gloomy out. We got rained on this morning when we were on our walk, but I have been kind of camped out. I worked on the treadmill for a little bit and walked out there and I have been doing some final things for the merch launch that is tomorrow and that is at noon. I am so excited to finally have this come about. I think that it was like maybe April or something. We started talking about different designs and then uh, kind of just trying different products and different materials and stuff. So over the last couple months, for sure, I think we started probably in like September trying some different products with the design actually on there. And we are finally able to launch tomorrow. So that's exciting. And also just trying to put together a couple different gift guides, I'm working with my wedding planner on a couple different things, trying to do our wedding guest list final lineup, in a different like document type spreadsheet for our wedding planner. I got a lot of moving parts today and also doing some check-ins. So trying to kind of, I don't know, get everything straight and try and focus on one thing at a time. And we also have Jay's mom's coming um, early next week to be here for Thanksgiving. So we also are trying to finalize what we're doing for our other guest room. Not sure if it's gonna be done in time. We do have a mattress coming in. We ordered another bare mattress for that room, but we haven't figured out what we're gonna do for like the bed frame quite yet. So we have a bare mattress both in our primary room and in our one guest room right now. And we're gonna do the same exact one. It's gonna be a queen in the elite hybrid out in the other guest room too. So kind of finalizing some different furniture things that we wanna do in there, try and figure out everything that we wanna do also in our dining room area because we have our new tables coming on Tuesday. Actually, it's our only table. We haven't had a dining table this whole time. We've been like going back and forth, like what size we wanna do. And so we ordered that. Hopefully our chairs come in in time. It's kind of a lot of things last second to have um, when we're hosting our first Thanksgiving, first holiday here in general. So also trying to make Christmas plans. It's a lot trying to figure out all of this stuff um, come the holiday season when we're all scattered all over the place and all good problems to have, like the merch stress. We've got the stress of doing new things to the house, trying to figure out if we sell the um, desk that's out in that, in that office right now because I knew that this was gonna be an issue. I probably would not use that office as much as what I thought I would because I end up being in the house and just working at the countertop or working in the other office too. So um, we're trying to figure out some other things like that, but that's kind of just a little update on what I've been up to. And I also wanted to thank today's sponsor, which is Bear. I have definitely raved about Bear to y'all multiple times, but it's been a whole year since I got the first mattress. And we now have the King one and also have the Queen of the Elite Hybrid, which I just said that we're gonna be doing for the other guest room as well. You answer a bunch of questions on a quiz and say if you like medium, soft, hard firmness with your bed, and if you sleep with a partner, if you tend to wake up in the middle of the night, sleep on your side, if you like it to be cooler, or if you are a hot natured person at night. And I honestly had no idea what the heck kind of mattress I was gonna get when I first was looking. I knew nothing about it, but all I knew is I needed a mattress that would come to my door at my apartment because I had no way of picking it up and I didn't want to go through going to a mattress store and trying them all out. It is overwhelming and daunting. So I did the quiz, got matched with that, and I knew that there was a guarantee if I didn't love the mattress that I would get my money back and I absolutely have loved it clearly if we're going to have the king one and also have another of the exact same style mattress from Bear. Every time we have a guest come over, they end up saying something about the mattress and saying it's so comfortable. They're like, oh, my back doesn't hurt this morning. Morning. It's so comfortable. We had Jade's mom say something about it. My mom, my sister, when she'd come stay at the apartment, my Mimi said something. We're like, oh, it's just expected at this point when people wake up at our house. 
If you are nervous about purchasing something, like it's obviously a big decision to purchase a mattress, they have a 120 night sleep trial to make sure that you love it. Three months of ensuring that you love it. I think that's plenty of time to figure out if the mattress is for you. And also the quiz makes a huge difference as well to make sure that you're paired with the right one. And they also are Green Guard certified. They don't have any harmful off gassing. They don't have fiberglass in them. I didn't realize that that was something until I started researching different mattresses. Didn't know that that was something that was harmful or detrimental to your health until I saw that. And so that was something that stood out for me when I was looking at Bear. It gets delivered right to your door. It is so easy to set up. It only took a couple minutes for us to actually take it out of the box, even a king mattress, which is crazy to me how easy it was to set up. I'll make sure to link this in my description box if you guys are on the hunt for a good mattress and you guys want to try out Bear. And thank you so much, Bear, for sponsoring today's YouTube video. I found this little 40 days through the Bible. Uh, actually, someone else posted it on Instagram and I found it on Amazon. So I'm going to start this tomorrow, which I'm excited about because I think this is going to really help my learning rather than doing like a normal Bible study of different portions of the Bible. So I'm using Postable right now for my addresses. This is a little address book right here, but you just send like a link out for people to give their address. And this would be perfect for like, honestly, any event that you need people's addresses for, or just to have addresses. I am like, it's already come in handy for a couple things. Like it was my best friend's, well actually today's my best friend's birthday, Jeannie. And I had like her address, I couldn't remember her zip code. I'm like, oh, I need to go on here because I already have it in there for our wedding invites or for our save the dates. And it's so convenient because you can kind of like keep track of everyone's address a little bit better. And then also they can like plug in their plus one or if they have like a spouse or something in there. And then they have like an option to put their birthday, their phone number, their email. It's just so convenient. Honestly, if you're, I don't know if people are doing this like by hand, just getting people's addresses and putting them in a spreadsheet and like asking everyone individually, hoping that they give you the right address with the right zip code and all of that. That sounds like a pain. Like this is the most organized thing ever. And I think that you can do, yeah, like mass mailings. You can like upload your cards if you want to send it through there, I think. I don't think we're doing that. I don't know exactly where we're getting our save the dates through. We're still just making sure that we have all of the different contacts in here and the different addresses. But technology, y'all, I always say that. I'm like, dang, technology is something else. All right, here's one of the little gift guides I'm working on right now. This one's just for her. I've got a Lululemon backpack, a Sony Clover little bag, the detergent I've been liking a lot lately, the brewmate cup, aura ring, hatch, and some little Ugg slippers. We got some dinnerware sets in. I got all these from Amazon and they're the same as those, like, I guess they're called like pasta dishes that we have. And I have never really had like a full set of like two plates, bowls, and now we actually have like the pasta plates as well. And it is just the prettiest set for eight people. Well, we only have four of the pasta ones, but I just think that these are so stinking cute and they work like you can have different place settings or different napkins and whatnot make them look fall like you can make them look like christmas and i think that they're going to be perfect for thanksgiving to have everyone over here so these from amazon y'all i think it's called like fama wear or something is the brand of these let me show you guys the bowls that i'm talking about i know that you guys know what i'm talking about because i use them like every single day but i like these bowls a lot Jay, these might be like perfect for oatmeal too. Ooh, perfect. Here are the plates that I was talking about. Actually, all of ours are from Amazon. So all of these are Amazon. The bowls up there, these ones right here, are the ones that match over there. And then we've got some plates, some green sets as well. Officially feel like we're some homeowners now that we can host people and actually have some sets of silverware, some sets of steak knives, and we also have all of these dinnerware sets. Just getting ready for bed right now. I'm gonna do my skincare, then I'm gonna put on my lamp and turn off the lights and just sit on my computer, do some more gift guides. I love it because it's like a mindless thing to do, and I love doing like the Canva organization type thing on it.
I need to organize my life. Everything is everywhere. I don't know where anything is. Traveling is making me a hot mess. <laughs> making me a hot mess of a person. Here's what I've been working on. This is my favorite little Canva that I've done. So I just do these on Canva and I love messing around with them so that they all like fit perfectly. But this one is a stocking stuffer one. I've got the Summer Fridays. I've got some little travel ones of the Sol de Janeiro, MEJ Claw Clip. Barefoot Dream Socks. I love both an Amazon and a Skinny Confidential Ice Roller. Missing Person by Fleur is one of my favorite scents. So this is like a little travel one. Slip Hair Ties. These are like the scrunchies that are silk. I actually have one in my hair right now. Matter of fact, I wonder if you can even tell. A little slip hair, hair tie. And then we've got one of these, which these are those little alarm things that go off. So they're good for a girl to have on her keychain. And then Tarte Maracuja Lip, I think you call it, and some AirPod covers. So working on Jay's picks right now, but these are a lot of Abercrombie and some little Ray-Bans pair of Doc Martens that he has. He has both of these pants right here and in the same style there's a cream color that he's wanting. Tampa Bay. So they have a bunch of different NFL teams from Abercrombie. And then he likes these shoes a lot too. He always wears Air Forces or like I guess maybe he has some dunks. I forget the name of everything. Then we have the Tech which this is one of these DGI. DGI I think is what it's called. Like the I don't know. It's basically for vlogging and I actually ordered one. It's on back order right now, but it's really good for, I think Jay's going to use it for like running and I think it's supposed to stabilize it and also be like super lightweight. A guy, when we were in Hawaii, had it for, um, we were doing the zip lining and he had it. Then this is the drone that we have and Jay uses it quite a lot now for running stuff. So that would be a good one if you have someone that is into lots of tech or photo stuff. AirPod Maxes we both have, a Kindle. Honestly, I don't think that you need like the super high uh, level Kindle. I haven't seen like a huge difference out of like the normal one. And then the one that has like the larger side on it where you can like flip the page. It doesn't really make that big of a difference. This is a little magnetic phone charger and phone stand. Bose speaker. This is a Fujifilm little camera that is actually digital, but it looks like a film camera. And then this is the GoPro that we have. Gift guide for him. Hopefully this isn't boring. I love doing this. <laughs> Theragun, All Saints. This is the sweatshirt that Jay always wears. And he also has this polo jacket. So we put those on there. And he's been wearing like a lot more jewelry lately. So he has um, a new chain necklace. And then he has like a little bracelet that this kind of looks like. This is one of the chain. This is probably, I think he got his on Amazon maybe. No, he said Instagram ad. So this one was um, just like a rope chain bracelet that looks really cool. He has a rope chain necklace. So I don't know if that would be like too much to do a matching bracelet, but pretty cool. And then some AirPods, some, um, this is actually a grill, Blackstone grill. And this base suitcase is nice. Jay has the black one, but if you are looking for one for your man, actually this is cool for guy or girl. And it's like the new brown one. He loves these Gorin Bros hats. And this one says goat. He has one that says king and then, actually has two that says king and then he has the goat one. 
and these two pairs of sneakers are pretty cool. He doesn't have any of the Vejas. I have a couple pairs of them and he said that these were cool and also these Nikes I want for myself and I'm trying to get Jay to get them. And he's like, they're cool, but would I wear them? He loves his Succonies, I think they're called or Sacconies, I don't know. Gift guide for mom. Actually, these are the pajamas that I have on right now, matter of fact, from Cozy Earth. Some Aesop hand balm and hand soap slip eye mask, kettle for tea, and then we have the Caraway pan set that I have. This is a really pretty necklace from Orate. And some slippers, curling iron. I always see this recommended. I don't need any more hair tools, but my mom was like, actually, I've seen that, and that looks like a pretty nice um, curling iron. I think it was Kathleen Post that I saw. Um, post about that and probably a couple others too. And then I love this kind of candle, the Santel 26. Good morning guys. I'm having my greens right now. My camera has a line down the screen, which is making me a little nervous. Like, are you going to go out on me? Please don't. Here's my little ornament box that I got last year. Rub some dirt on it. I'm coming back out there. Look what shirt I'm wearing. Woo! Uh, launch is at 12. It's 10.30 right now. And it's Friday, by the way. Happy casual Friday. And we are going to a little kids gym type thing today with Ty to see what that's all about. And then after that, I'm going to get ready for launch and just make sure everything goes smoothly, answer anyone's questions. So that's just a little update. But I'm headed in to hang out with my sister and Ty. I just got some PR in from... Haas Labs, this is Lady Gaga's brand. We've got some foundation, some blood, oh, this is gel powder highlighter. And then this is some blush. Little lip glosses, it looks like. Oh my gosh, can I hold them? What are these? Secondary neutral and tint. Then we've got Lip crayon, concealer. I actually just bought their concealer, which is funny. They send it to me right after. This is so crazy. Every single time I get PR. Another concealer. This looks like it might be a brush. Ooh, foundation brush, nice. And then another lip crayon. And this is lip oil. Wow, thank you so much. This is so exciting. I'll have to let you guys know what I think. Maybe I'll use some of them tonight when we get ready for date night. My merch is live right now and it shows where everyone's at. It's probably been live for, it's been live for an hour and 15 minutes. And this is everyone that's on my site right now looking at merch, which is pretty cool to see everyone all over. Okay, we're off to dinner. I just finished getting ready. I'm wearing this little skirt set with this blazer and then a black shirt underneath, some black boots. And I'm using this purse right here. I'm also bringing this just with some comfy clothes for the car ride home, of course. And we're going to a place called Burns Steakhouse tonight. Our friends told us such good things about this place, so we're really excited because steak and wine, Jay's two favorite things. Okay, my camera is like a hit or miss on if it's working. I think it's just my battery that's messed up. So randomly it will shut off. We're gonna talk quick, catch you up to speed. We're headed to dinner right now and we're going to Burns Steakhouse for dinner. We were told great wine and great steak and Jay said I haven't gotten it off my mind since Sign me up. Sign me up. So that's where we're headed right now. We're a little dressier than what we typically are for our normal dinner Which is every single week at the Pearl. We never switch it up really so excited to try somewhere new And it looks like they have so many different seafood and steak options. So we're both excited.
Cool. This is the coolest place ever. You want to tell the vlog how you do it? So, all these are, all the blue are different like stations for like the radio. Um, and then this is the live piano player, which we're listening to right now. And then you have your volume down, volume up. Now if you wanted to request a song from the piano player, the live piano player, when he stops playing, you just pick up his phone. Ring ring, and he would answer and he would say, yo, play me this. Do you know how to play Rod Wave uh, Married play Next Rod Year? <laughs> Picture this coming in like a bowl just full of scrumptious. That looks delicious. Yeah, it does. All right, home from date night. I'm gonna end off this vlog. I love y'all, I adore y'all, and I'll see you guys in my next one. I'm just in my closet right now because I'm putting away laundry, but I didn't want to end this, or I didn't want to forget to end this because I took some clips on my iPhone while we were at Burns Steakhouse. Such a good place, also like such a good experience. Like it's definitely something that you go and like, they take you to a tour through the kitchen. They have like a total separate area for the desserts. It was a really awesome place. So if you are in Tampa, it is hard to get a reservation, but if you have open tables, I think that Jay was like, we just need to check last second, see if there's any cancellations so that we're not eating at like a nine o'clock reservation. But I love y'all and I'll see y'all in my next one.